Hello everyone, Rocket Mathematics here and today we're going to discuss about Martingale process. Firstly, we're going to introduce a new definition which is called filtration. A filtration is a collection of sigma algebras f with a property. If s is less than t, then this collection of sigma algebras with reference to S is a subset of the particular collection of sigma algebras F referring to T. S and T could be could describe the time. Simply, the filtration could be characterized as an ascending information structure. Now we're ready to introduce the definition of a Martingale process. Suppose we have a stochastic process x adopted in the filtration f all with respect to the probability space omega f and p if the expected value of x with the condition of the filtration by the time s is equal to the value of the stochastic process in time s this holds almost surely for s less than t, except except of a martingale process, there there are super super martingale processes and sub martingale processes. Suppose we have a stochastic process X adopted in the filtration f, all with reference to the probability space omega f and p. If the expected value of X under the condition of the information contained till the till time s is is less than the value of the stochastic process x in time s this inequality almost hold, almost surely holds for s less or equal t now finally we're going to define a submarine process it's all the same but uh, Everything changes here where the expected value is greater or equal the value of the stochastic, stochastic process in time s. And again, this inequality almost hold, almost surely holds. In order to understand what martingale, sub and super martingale process describe, we would implement a trivial example. Suppose we start playing a DOS game. If the coin falls with head up, we win one dollar, otherwise we lose one dollar. Let's assume that our earnings follow a stochastic process S. The probability of winning one dollar is equal to 50% and the probability of losing one dollar in a coin toss is equal to 50%. Its coin toss is described by a random variable K. As we can see, more formally. This coin toss game is described as a fair game, where either lose with probability p equal 0 0.5 or win with a probability 0 0.5 again. The earnings we have could be described by a stochastic process S, which is simply the sum of all the random variables in its coin toss. So it's a discrete problem i equal 1 to t where t is the last coin toss and overall there are t tosses. It can be proved that our expected earnings will be equal to zero. In order to make it more obvious, we are going to model the coin toss problem and with a Monte Carlo simulation, calculate the average earnings, the expected value. As we can see in the graph here, the, our earnings, as t gets bigger, tend to concentrate between zero. If we could, if, if the numbers of irritations is quite big, for example, t 
ten ten thousand irritations is quite quite good, we're going to see that the average earning tends to zero. The distribution would have a certain variance, but the mean would be zero. That's a practical way of describing a multiple process. It is a zero-sum game. Similarly, we're going to work for a super multiple process. In the same manner, we have a coin toss game, where we win one dollar with, probabil with probability 40% and lose one dollar with probability 6%. As we can see, uh, it is more likely to lose in a coin toss. This is an unfair game for us. Again, again, our earnings could be described by a stochastic process S, which is simply the sum of all random variables for T coin tosses. It can be proved that our expected earnings will be less than zero. This graph could describe the, the, the previous statement. As we can see, uh, the distribution of the mean, oh, oh, sorry, the distribution of our earnings has mean less than zero and a certain variance. If we could increase the number of irritations for a big number, let's say 10,000 again, we would see that the, that the distribution would have a certain variance, but the mean would be surely less almost surely to be typical less than zero now the coin toss is a negative sum game the same applies for a sub multiple process as we can see it's quite easy to understand what a martingale sub and super multiple process describe 